The clone houses are not shy about what they're doing. This one is from the house of Latafa, but somehow they give you the name Mason Alhambra. Not sure what's the deal with this, but looking at the bottle itself, the box presentation, you know what they are trying to do. Actually, on the website online, fragranceby.ca, it tells you it's a variation of a Tom Ford or wood. Now, I don't own that one. But as far as the box itself, just the Tom Ford that I own, Tuscan leather, you could tell. <laughs> exact clone basically on the box presentation, on the body itself. Yeah, they're doing it. Um, as much or whatever I feel about the um, clone houses, I'm actually taking advantage of it and I'm uh, enjoying some of the um, expensive fragrances for a very good price. I um, can only judge this one for what it is by itself, if it's good or not. I actually got another one that is a um, direct clone of a wood from the house of Alexandria. This is agar. I opened it, I never sprayed it before, so I'll probably do that later. I do that a lot, just throw the boxes when I don't think there's any uh, reason to keep it. But here you go. A wood. Latafa. You could pick this up for around, what, under $25? I picked it up a few weeks ago. There you go. This is a pretty cool box presentation though. The logo, Mason Alhambra. They're getting better and better, the clone houses. The bottle itself is very heavy. The cap itself is uh, pretty light, but yet yeah, it does look presentable. All right. I guess the bottle is bottles are not expensive to make nowadays, so they be able to give you um, a very decent presentation with a plaque in the front. It's not even a sticker; it's just, it's a nice little plaque. Looks pretty shiny, and it seems to be fingerprint resistant. Kind of, it's not as um, easy to get dirty as the other ones. On the top, there's also another plaque with this elk. Or is it a deer or elk? What is that called? I like it actually. Spray time. Welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Just chatting about fragrance. Hanging out. There you go. I did it first. Uh, I was in the shorts, so I sprayed it a second. First impression. Alcohol. <laughs> Give it a second. All right. You know, it's always first impression, you get what I get. Yeah, this is very woody. Actually, wood kind of. Wood is uh, agar wood, so it's a type of wood. And I'm a wood, I'm a wood guy. I love going to um, hikes, to the forest. That's a big thing for me. Going up the mountain, be able to take those hikes are a big part of uh, enjoyment each year. Try to go, okay. Yeah, this is very, very woody type of scent. Very nicely done. Does not smell like a $25 fragrance. But you know what I've been, or recently have been saying that a lot. It seems like they're able to make good quality fragrances for a very cheap price now. Especially this, uh, you know, Cologne Houses, Afnan, Latafa, Swiss Arabian. Seems to be saying that a lot. So it's quite um, a... Um, improvement from many years ago when i started to play with the fragrances those clones are not as good as nowadays not only in the presentation but also the juice itself this you can tell is very good stuff actually it's very very similar to give me a second very similar to this one versace U noir this is one of my treasures even without caring that it is similar to Tom Ford Wood Wood, I just enjoy that one a lot. So I don't spray as much as I want to. Right now, that one's about, last time I saw it was $68 online, which is still very reasonable for the quality of that, that kind of juice, especially from a desi big designer house, uh, Versace. This is very similar to that. Now, I'm, I don't want to ruin this by doing it side by side right away, but I'm just telling you, this is good stuff. At least the first three to four minutes. It's coming out very woody. The strong wood, it smells like that. And now, of course, wood, real ones, 
good quality ones are extremely expensive so they have definitely made a um, synthetic version of it and it's a very good synthetic version maybe one day people will not be able to tell apart the synthetic from the real ones then we can save some trees right but that means you know those farmers might not be able to get the the earnings the the income that they get they'll have to move on to something else. but that's a different story we don't have to mumble on there's a rosiness to it but i don't think it's from from rose itself maybe it is but it's more of a woody base type of wood okay so it's probably from some sort of um there's a, a rose wood type of uh, woodiness yeah there's a tad bit of sweet i like this type of stuff where the sweet is very toned down it's just a little added as if you have a big bowl of soup not soup okay. what am i talking about soup you don't add sugar but a big bowl of what is that you add sugar to? Let's say you drink black coffee. You add just a bit of a sugar to it to give it some sweetness, but it does not dominate. It's not like a Starbucks uh, caramel coffee or caramel macchiato where they add a lot of sugar or foam. Not that, but they give you a, a bit, let's say one cu sugar cube. You taste the sugar in your black coffee, but it does not overpower, override the whole scent profile. And I appreciate that this one has that in there. You get a bit of a sweet, but it doesn't dominate. So this would not be a, a categorized as a sweet type of fragrance. It's for sure is a woody type of scent. So the name itself is exactly what it is. It's woody wood. You're getting both of those smells in there. Just a tad bit of sweet. It's spicy though. It's coming out to my nose as being spicy and peppery for sure. This is, <laughs> wow. Um, I was just doing a review for uh, Sarah Jessica Parker stash. And I really, really enjoyed that one more and more. It grew on me tremendously from the first uh, wearings, few wearings. And I was so impressed if we would do that for around $33. But now this one is $25 for 100. Wait, let me see. Is that 100 mil? No, it's a 2.7. Why, you know, why maybe, <laughs> why they do that, right? My bar is from June 2022. This is a 2.7 80 mil bottle shape. Why that 80 mil? Now the atomizer is perfectly good, all right? See that? Very good sprayer, very good atomizer. This is, uh, this is a killer. This is, okay, alcohol, but this is, um, I I'm just dumbfounded by how well there are doing their fragrances is as good as any of the designer houses right now even the niche house this is killer killer good yeah right away the top spray the agar was coming out very strong and the spiciness um, from the pepper this is a strong type of pepper so it has to be the either black pepper or the shushan pepper shushan pepper is very distinct very very powerful I eat that quite often in the um, with the food. We will cook some type of um, you know, those food and add some shuchan pepper, red pepper as well. But it's very nice. The toned down sweet is playing very well around it on the side. So what I want to say is, on the top right there is the woodsiness and the wood. And then right behind it, about two or three steps back, there will be some sweet. And the spice, well actually spice is second tier. Okay, so number one place will be the woods and woody. They're playing along together. Second place or right behind it will be the spiciness and the black pepper or citron pepper is very strong. The third right behind that will be the sweet. Not sure where that sweet is coming from, but it's a nice type of sweet. It's not the generic uh, boring type of vanilla or yeah, not that, but it's, um, it's very well. This is very well done. It does not have the harshness that I do get sometimes in the cheaper fragrances. This one does not have that at all. <sighs> okay, I gotta say though, but right now it's about seven or eight minutes after the first initial spray on one spot. The You can tell the sheen is still here. This will be for the winter time, for sure, or in the in-between cooler season. But there's a spiciness that comes to play. 
it has toned down a um, little bit. So it's about 85% of what it was when I first sprayed it. Now it's very cold right now. It's about less than 60 degrees, about 55. So it's on the cool side. A lot of time the fragrance might not uh, project or evaporate out or, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't project, you know, come out. So it might, the cool weather might be toning this down a bit. But if I'm putting my nose about three or four inches from the spot, I'm still picking up pretty strong. This is nice, um, good projecting. The longevity, I will guess at least half a day from the way it is right now, at least four or five hours. Okay, so it, it hasn't changed that much since I first sprayed about eight minutes ago. So I can say that this is for sure based on the woody and wood the spiciness from the pepper and some a little bit of a non-distinct sweet in the in the background there yeah yeah so that's what i'll settle down i think that's what the um, scent is going to be throughout for the cool season for sure this is masculine the woody type of scent usually leans more masculine nothing feminine about this I don't pick out any floral at all, not at all. Yeah, nowhere to be found. So this is for sure many type of scents. If that's your thing, if you enjoy hikes, if you smell, you know what? The spiciness feels if I smelled this before when I went on, you know, the hikes. Uh, there'll be forest, and then there will be some sort of um, minty type of spicy. It's more spicy than minty, but I'm just trying to describe the um, the refreshing right behind the, the woodiness there's a refreshing type of vibe stingy yeah it is uh, zingy there's a zinginess to it yeah it does it's coming out the spice is very strong Ooh. this is not the boring type of um it's not a a one trip pony with just the wood itself but there's more things that's playing alongside with it nice a uh, nice touch very nice touch i would imagine this to be very versatile there's absolutely nothing hard about this type of wood. Sometimes, if you're not familiar with it, you might think it's um, wood can come out pungent sometimes, or a little bit figo, or any of those variations. But this is an easy type of wood that people would say, "Well, you smell like, you know, like a um, little bit like the lumber yard." The lumber section in Home Depot, but not really. That is toned down because of the woodiness. The wood is a little bit stronger, so it doesn't smell like a, a Benny for main intent, which is very strong uh, pencil shaving, woody, shave wood type of smell. But this one has a darker tone of the wood that brings the whole composition to to not exactly like that, but it's more more. I would describe this as if I smelled this before when I went to a temple, not a church. Church is mainly dominated by the incense, but the temple a lot of time is, is you know, is uh, structured in wood and all type of wood. I smelled this when I traveled to Asia and I smelled this. All right. So I would imagine, yes, this is what temple would kind of smell like, the dark woodiness of it. The structure, the building, the temple itself, with a bit of maybe a smell of the incense, just a tad bit. Oh, this is, I'm getting that, the vibe. This is nice. Yeah, I'm giving a lot of compliment. This is a killer, $25, are you kidding me? This is crazy. This house of Latafa is killing it. I mean, I do have some of them I bought maybe a couple years ago that um, I, I would describe it as being more harsh. I'll probably have to review that. I'll have to revisit it to see if it's still as harsh as I remember. But this one is, uh, for what it is, um, $25, I'm giving 10 out of 10, straight up, 10 out of 10. Extreme versa extremely versatile. Longevity is gonna be good. It projects really well. It's non-offensive and yet it's, little, it's still interesting. There's a little nuances in there. I could tell those little notes playing on the side mix really well together. Nothing harsh about this. Just nothing I could take away points for. 
and I, I don't want to just take away point just for the sake of it, but presentation, the only thing I could complain about is it's a clone or copy of okay, something that is supposed to be really good to Tom Ford, but for the price range, I just have to take advantage of it. It is out there, I'll buy it. 25 bucks, this is, yeah, this is a killer. Um, so at least I have one more that's as good or even better than my um, beloved Versace U Noir. So yeah, I, I will use this every day now. Maybe even backup bottles. Uh, in case if you go online, you see it, it's out of stock right now. That's fine, I checked this morning. That's fine, they will always restock it, especially the good stuff like this that people really want and appreciate. So check it often. Yeah. Oh. Now the projection is about, the strength is about uh, maybe seven out of 10. Let's say in the initial spray is about a 10. Right now it's about a seven. So I would imagine as always, it's gonna gradually die down. Right now it's about 15 minutes since I first sprayed it. It's about 70% power strength of what it was, okay? This is a great one. This is a great one. So you could say similar to any of the wood based type of scents, yeah, it is that. Um, it is spicy though. And it's very well done. You could tell that this is a well done type of wood. Easy going. I, I could this I could use this as a, a daily scent, you know, signature scent. Yep. Two thumbs up. Awesome. As always, I hope that is helpful. See you next time.